coming up on SEO Lunch, find out why EditFlow is the plugin you need if you are a copywriter in the business. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of SEO Lunch. I'm your host, Dan, and SEO Lunch is your weekly look at the latest and greatest in inbound marketing tips as they apply to the WordPress framework. As always, folks, please do subscribe to us. Hit that big old red subscribe button over there on YouTube if that's where you're watching us, or you can subscribe to our blog and our newsletter at slocumstudio.com slash subscribe, where we're always posting all kinds of great stuff for you, deals, things like that, and some of our products and services. So... On that note, let's say your product is selling newspaper periodicals or, you know, you sell blog posts or you love to blog or you're, you're an editor or you're copywriting in some way, shape, or form. There's a great, great plugin out there um, that we actually have running down here on the screen, um, and it's called Edit Flow. And it actually comes from the creators um, of WordPress Automatic as well as a bunch of other folks who helped develop this plugin. And edit flow, what it basically does is it takes any sort of sort of frustrations you might have about collaborating with multiple people and puts it into this plugin. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to use it right now. So we have a post open right here. This is a free plugin, by the way, folks. You go here, it's a post about whatever. And I can, you know, say whatever about it. This is the first sentence. A rough draft, if you will. Oh, I can type again. I have to make one mistake. Two. Okay. So there's there's like a little bit of something right there. <clears throat> we can actually change the status here to a bunch of things here. So this is one of the things that the plugin gives you out of the box. We can change a pitch, in progress, things like that, which is great. And you can save it as such. So if I want to save it as a pitch, I can do that. <clears throat> Hit the save button, I would save it as a pitch. But a few of the other tools I want to share are what are more important here because they're really, really cool. The first thing is editorial comments. It's right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Basically, <clears throat> I look at this and I send it out. I save it. The per Another person in the chain of command sees it. I can actually respond to this post and say, this looks great. Did you think about making the second sentence? bold. I mean, that's obviously kind of crazy, but you can submit that response. And now we have editorial comments that are going to show up and you can reply to them or you can respond to them right within the post creation because that's where we are here in WordPress. It's really, really powerful stuff here. <clears throat> um, over on the right here, I want you to see editorial metadata. The great thing about editorial metadata is it allows you to select things about this that, that are going to be um, relevant. So first draft date, when does this thing do? And if I click on this, it actually brings up a calendar and I can select what date it's due, what it needs to cover, you know, lesson about WordPress, whatever. If it needs a photo, I can check that or I can even check the word count. Now I can change this and I can add things in the settings for edit, edit flow. We're not going to go too much into that here, um, but you can change all that. You can get rid of all that. You can make it more of a project management type of situation. So this plugin has a lot of legs, but here and for copyright, this is what it's made for, and this is where it kind of excels. The next, last thing I do want to show you here is notifications, and notifications are really cool too. So if I go in here and I look at, you know, okay, I can select this person, which is me, or I can select a group. So I can select photographers, because this is a photo post, for example. Whenever I save a revision or add an editorial comment up here, it's going to automatically notify those users, whether it be by email or just by uh, notifying them within the WordPress dashboard. It will let them know that I made a change. So if this is like a project that's ongoing with like maybe three writers, you can select those three writers. And whenever they leave a comment like, oh, draft is finished in editorial comments, it would ping it to those other folks so they can go in and check as well. Really, really cool, really powerful stuff. Um, if you are a business who is, you know, creating a lot of content or you have people under you 
Maybe you own the business and you have a few people hired who are actually doing content marketing for you and you want the best solution possible to have a website up and running um, that works really well. We actually have this running on our socialized, this plugin running on our socialized theme, um, which is designed for magazines and whatnot. So you go right in there, you type in all your information, you know, you, you edit it. It's just, it's a really, really good interface to use for this sort of purpose. And I really wanted to, I wanted to highlight that, show you folks, um, if there's anything I missed with regards to edit flow that you wanted me to go over or you want to look at maybe other plugins, we did just go over this one along with collab press, which is more for project management that you can look at as well. Um, so please do take a look at that video. If you have more questions, please, as always, feel free to comment below. If the comments are on Google plus right now, as opposed to YouTube, they did change things. I will have an SEO lunch post about that coming very shortly. I assure you. Um, but in the meantime, just comment below. Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact us at slocumstudio.com slash contact. Uh, we'd love to help you out there as well. Thanks a lot, guys.